Hey there! Have you ever been watching anime and because of your terrible short-term memory you forgot what you were actually watching and out of pure laziness you refuse to pause to just check the name? And instead you create a machine learning model that will classify an anime based on screenshots? Because same. But first, we need data. In order to appeal to the masses, I'm just gonna look up the five most popular anime. Now before you get ahead of yourself with Michael, getting enough episodes will take too long for one video. Listen, I'm already one step ahead. You see, we aren't going to be using the video, but rather breaking the videos down into frames. For each anime on the list, I'm going to give the model five minutes of the first episode. Now, not just the first five minutes, but I tried to choose five minutes that accurately portrayed the characters and the general art style. You may be asking yourself why the first episode and not some random one. Well, I thought that usually the first episode of an anime typically illustrates the setting and main characters pretty well, whereas later episodes may be some side plot, so I ultimately just wanted to avoid that. Using OBS, I can screen record the episodes, then using VLC break down the videos into frames. So that I don't have 9,000 images of Naruto on my computer, I'm gonna set the recording rate to just be one frame per second. Also for consistency in the data, I'm gonna keep subtitles on for all of the episodes because for some reason for Dragon Ball you can't actually turn off the subtitles on Hulu, so I don't want the model to overfit because of that. Some of the older anime's aspect ratios were much different, so to prevent those black bars on the sides from becoming a factor in the model, I cropped the videos before extracting the frames. Now that we have all the images, we can finally begin the upload and the machine learning stuff. Also just briefly looking at these, you can definitely tell the different art styles through each anime, so hopefully the model will pick up on that, and this video doesn't turn out to be just an absolute fart. Now I could pretend to be a hacker man and use TensorFlow to customize my own convolutional neural network with a bunch of layers, but a great person once said, you don't really need to reinvent the wheel. I'm just a simple man trying to instill the interest into my AI children before the self-aware tech inevitably takes over the planet, but at least they'll have good taste. Also, last time I tried training a machine learning model locally, I uh, hmm learn the hard way. I'm going to use Microsoft's Custom Vision Machine Learning SDK and Portal to build and train the model. You can find all the resources and documentation I used in the description below. So here I'm just going to create some resources on Azure in order to host this machine learning model. So the cool thing about Custom Vision is that you can do things both through the software development kit or through the portal. You can create the tags and upload images programmatically, but I accidentally got an exception when uploading the images, so it created the tags but didn't upload the images, so if I run it again, it gets an exception since those tags already exist. Now I could go grab the tags and make a bunch of checks and then upload the images programmatically, and you should definitely do that if you're going to push something to production, but in this context, that seems like a lot of overkill. So since creating tags and uploading the initial images is only a one-time thing, here I'm just going to upload the images through the portal to save some headache and go get ice cream since I'm doing this on a weekend. We have about 300 images for each anime. The variance comes in that custom vision automatically removes duplicate images, so if during the 5 minute episode there was more than one frame of the same image, those were ignored. Now you also may be asking yourself, hey Michael, what are negative images? Those are basically just images that don't display any tag. So let's say if you had a picture of a dog and a cat, the negative image may be the background or a picture of something that's not a dog or a cat. In our case, we don't really have negative images that would make sense in this context. Like I could upload an image of like a soda can, but that wouldn't really make sense in terms of what we're trying to analyze. So I'm gonna leave that empty for now. I'm also genuinely curious on what the model will learn, whether that's the color scheme, the art style, etc., and in order to distinguish between the animes. Now that all the images are uploaded within their corresponding tags, we can train our model. Custom Vision currently allows for two different training practices, quick training where it prioritizes faster training, or advanced training where you can set a training budget which will inevitably cost more computing money. So for this, I'm gonna just probably set a budget of about two hours. Now that I've let it train and I've gotten some ice cream, 
Let's see some of the metrics. So with a 99% probability threshold, which is basically in order to be a correct classification, the model has to be at least 99% confident, we can see the metrics here. Now there's a couple different metrics here to consider. Precision is basically the number of correct positives over correct positives plus false positives. So that basically means out of all positive identifications, which ones were actually correct. You want to prioritize precision in a machine learning model when the danger of a false positive is high. There's also recall, which is correct positives over correct positives plus false negatives, which means out of all the classifications made, how many were correct. You really want to prioritize recall when the danger of a false negative is high. Then AP is basically a metric that takes into account both precision and recall. By moving the probability threshold down, I can get higher recall, but it'll ultimately be the cost of precision. So it's kind of a balancing act. Now let's publish our iteration and start making some predictions. Let's begin with some initial random images. So we can do mass predictions through code, but first let's just grab a single screenshot and predict it through the portal since it's a little more visual. So I'm just gonna go here to a random One Piece episode and and just grab a random screenshot, make a quick prediction, and we can see that it's actually pretty accurate with 99% confidence in One Piece. I find this like really interesting because if we look at the One Piece training data, there's no real image that seemingly looks similar to the test image, but yet it's still accurate. Okay, now I'm gonna write a predictor so that we can do this at a much larger scale. Pretty much everything we have been doing up to this point, you can do through the portal. So creating the project, uploading images, creating tags, and training the model. But when you want to consistently test images and in mass, this is where coding and the software development kit become really, really helpful. So now I can test images programmatically. Now, why is this useful? Well, I found some code on Stack Overflow, praise those absolute legends, that will basically take a screenshot of my main display. So putting that in a loop with a sleep timer, we can continuously screenshot our desktop and save the images. Then take those images and send them to the prediction model for testing. Then get the results in almost real time. And as another wise man once said all right oh, thumbs up ready guys let's or... do this Leave. let's run it as we can see it's somewhat accurate obviously with more data and more training the model would get much better but we are seeing almost in real time what the model thinks we are watching and that's pretty cool in my eyes. Now I am curious on what it will think of other shows we didn't train it on so let's just take a look <laughs> Honestly guys, this is one of the most fun videos I think I've ever made. Now, I'm not a machine learning expert. There are probably ways that this could have been more accurate or better done, um, but I still thought it was really fun. If you guys like these sort of videos, just let me know down in the comments below. If you like college advice, computer science, tech, career advice, anything like that, consider subscribing to the channel. You'd be helping your boy out and hopefully I can give you some useful information now and again. You can always count on bad British accents from your pal over here and uh, tune into one of my past videos and tune into some of my future videos it would mean an absolute lot to me. Oh yeah, comment down below any uh, animes that you guys have been watching. And if you guys really want me to sort of continue on this, I have a lot of ideas on how I could sort of expand this video. Maybe I can hook it up to a webcam. So instead of, uh, you know, screen recording, it could, you know, be like over the shoulder recording. Uh, that would be really interesting. Or maybe I could add some more animes or anything like that. Any suggestion you guys have of how I could improve this uh, sort of fun side project, let me know. Uh, if you guys are interested in that and uh, guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye